Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of November, 2021. Right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. A couple of nice chairs. Um, heck, I can't see that. I ought to know that by now, huh? 64% humidity. It's a little, little warm and sticky. 26 degrees Celsius. Get those windows back up. I'm probably going to roast in here. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's going on. I don't know, most of... I don't watch TV, I don't watch the... I don't watch the main news channels or anything like that. Um, sometimes I watch for the weather. But for the most part, I never turn my TV on. So I peruse various channels on YouTube and once you get hooked into something on YouTube their algorithm keeps feeding you that same something so one of the things I've been watching is about all about all the problems going on in ports uh, you know with ships stacking up and it's not just not just supports on the west coast apparently they're having problems on the east coast as well uh, Savannah Georgia's got a lot of ships off offshore and uh, up north around New York and Newark to Newark Harbor uh, they have problems with, with that and most of it is all is all the same thing you know, the ships are coming in, but there isn't the manpower to get it out of the port, whether that be trucks or trains or whatever. And in some cases, there's not enough longshoremen to get the, get the uh, boxes off of the ships. We're back onto the ships, or you know, it's just it's a it's a wild wild mess, like a like a, a giant ball of string, <coughs> just tangled up together. Uh, there is no one there is no one thing. Like you can't say, oh, we need more truck drivers. Yeah, that would help. You know, um, you can't blame it on the. You can't blame it all on the regulations out in California, uh, you know, because over here on the on the East Coast, we don't have those same regulations on trucks. So that's not the point. There's just a whole a whole mess of stuff. Like there, the ports are full of empty containers. And apparently, like, you can't just put containers anywhere. Like, you can't just say, all right, well, we need these containers moved. Uh, we have an empty lot, such and such a place. Go fill it up with containers. Because there's rules and stuff like, you know, stuff that prevents you from actually doing that. I guess code codes and whatever so it's crazy and then you add in you know with the, with the pandemic um, we are doing more and more shopping online and a lot of that has to be you know, a lot of that comes in ships 
and it takes more trucks. Um, you know, it's, it's a it's a vicious cycle, dude. You in that much of a hurry? He is weaving through traffic. Ugh. Anyway, long story short, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting out of this mess anytime soon. Even even places like even there, there's like Panama, the uh, Panama Canal. Um, you know they just they just opened a, a a new section of the canal. It took them I don't know 20 years to build or something like that. A wider a wider part of the canal less locks that's kind of coming back to bite them because there's not enough water in the in the new section of the canal to float the larger ships that it was designed to, to carry so they can only come through when there's enough water <laughs> you know, it's one of them things They weren't counting on a, you know, a semi drought when they built it, and there's not enough reserve, and there's not, you know, just it, it, it's a snowball. So there's that problem on top of on top of everything else. You know, it can't, it, sometimes the merchandise just can't get to where it needs to go. So. Uh, you know, people say, well, you know, send it through Panama and we'll take care of it in, you know, at Jacksport in Florida or in, in Miami or in Tampa or Houston. But if you can't get through the Panama Canal, then that's not going to work. Now, we still have a, a kink in the supply line. From when that ship blocked the blocked the Suez, that was what eight or ten months ago. Things are still backlogging from that. And then you say, I mean, you, you have to think about the people on the on the ships too. You know. These merchant marines, um, you know, some of them, some of them, their contracts have run out. They're, they're supposed to be coming ashore and being flown home, and instead they're stuck at anchorage somewhere. We're just being, just being stuck at anchorage for you know. Two, three, four, five weeks. When you know, that ship is supposed to have been into that port, out and probably into into another port or two by now. It's a it's a, it's a multi-tier problem. I mean, I'm no, I'm no fan of the current administration, but they're saying, you know, we have to, you know, buckle up and expect less. They're not just blowing smoke. I, I mean, I can't say that they're, they're not trying. I don't know that they really are, or if they aren't, but... All the, you know, there's just so much to, to take care of. All this stuff that's been, you know, building up over the years is now coming to a head. Faulty management, maybe. Uh, people thinking they knew what they were doing and turning out they didn't. That happens quite a bit, you know, 
Uh, not just in not just in government either. I mean that happens that happens to all of us. So uh, I don't know. Scary times, I know that much. And then there's times like I went to I wanted to uh, order some more of my Some of my dehydrated foods and most of the meats are unavailable at this time uh, to ground beef to beef chunks the sausage at least from uh, at least the ones that are on um, Amazon and to be honest I have no idea where else to look Yeah, you can get the you get the packages and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know. All we can do is do what we can, right? Maybe do what they said. Tighten our belt, lower our expectations. You have to shop. You have to shop frugally. You have to, you know, watch what's available. Grab what, grab what you like when you see it. Um, some people may call it hoarding, you know, because hey, you, you know, they, they have, they have chili in today. I'm gonna grab six cans of it. Oops, that cleared the shelf. Oh well. You know, um, they'll stock more. The next person just has to do it. What I've been doing and keeping their eye open and be the right person at the right time. So, I mean, it, I don't. I'm not usually that that person. Sorry for that wind noise. Oh man, it looks like looks like they're already lined up. So, uh, I guess that's about it, folks. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media? That'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see you all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slotchy, y'all.